I like to give good ideas. I give Hubert Ingram this idea 20 some years ago when he became Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Uh, Baker's Bay was in its infancy stages. And I asked Hubert Ingram, please, sir, Mr. Ingram, go to the high school where the kids are in the 11 and 12th grade that don't know what to study to come back and get a job immediately. I said, you know what all they need. Managers, butlers, not no $300 job, high-end jobs to make your people a millionaire. You know how much millionaires has been created in Baker's Bay and they were not Bahamians? How many Bahamians, how many people from Hubert Ingram District has become a millionaire over a billion dollar project and not one million in North Africa and we had Hubert there as Prime Minister. It's a boy for Chester Cooper. You got a billion dollars worth of stuff going up, up there. Have a meeting with your high schoolers and let them know exactly what is going to be needed on the high-end job. Not $350 a week when the expatriates taking them five thousand and they pay for their housing their allowance and be getting 300 in this country i'm yet to see a govern government govern on the best interests of bohemians and to tell these resort owners that when our kids come out of college immediately they're gonna get the same money and the same perks to manage in their country. No Bahamians could do what the Americans are doing to us in the Abaco Club and Baker's Bay. It's slavery by another name. It's keep the Negroes under your feet. If they dare speak out, send the Negroes home. Where is the government on that? To say, hey, y'all are here by a work permit, a piece of paper. We are here by birth. How dare you speak to my workers that way? How dare you make more than Bahamians? That's one of these kind cares. Chester, call the meeting. Let your people know what's available because Kai cares.